What's up everyone, this is Ola Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can remove every single app on your iPhone and make the entire home screen blank. This also works for hiding individual apps. Let's get started. trick is really cool it uses a glitch on iOS 11 and so far it works on every version of iOS 11 so if you do hide all the apps and you want to get them back make sure you just reboot your iDevice just by holding down on the power button and the home button or whichever device you have that process might be a little bit different if you have an iPhone 7 or 8 one of those phones but reboot your device if you want the apps back so what you want to do is go into wiggle mode and then hold down any app that you want to remove and then what you're gonna to want to do here is hold down Siri but keep the app still. Now once Siri appears, you're gonna see your app is in that little interface. What you're gonna wanna do is let go of the app and then the app will disappear and then click the home button. Now the problem with this is that you can only do it once. So for example, if you wanna get rid of Spotify, you can actually do that, but what will happen is the app I just removed comes back. So what do you do if you wanna remove multiple apps rather than just one? Because I'm sure there's maybe more than one app you wanna remove. Well, the answer to that is just make a folder and you can actually hide that individual folder. So what you wanna do, you'll see Spotify comes back, that's the problem with this. So what you wanna do is bring Spotify, whatever the other app is, into that folder. And then from here, you can go ahead and hold down the folder, make it into wiggle mode, and then drag that app into Siri and click the home button. Now you'll see that all the apps on this page are gone. So the same can be said for any other folder. So what you're going to want to do is put all your apps into a folder if you really want to remove every single app on your iPhone. This is kind of pointless, but if you really want that clean minimalistic look of literally nothing, you can actually do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I made the mistake of having that other folder removed. So when I remove this folder, that other folder I removed previously is gonna return, so I had to redo the steps over and over again. But you can see I have achieved the most minimalistic iPhone design ever. Now if you really wanna push the limits, you can actually remove the dock. I couldn't get it working for some reason, but I know it does work on iOS 11.2 because I actually made a video on it and it worked fine and a lot of other people said it worked fine as well. But that's about it for today. That's how you remove apps near your iOS device. Peace.